everybody. I thought I would go through my uh, little collection here of uh, G-Shock squares, specifically the uh, GWB5600 series. Um, I have nine of them. I don't, I don't know why um, I have nine of them, but I, I quite like them. I think they have some fun, interesting colors. I think at one point I was trying to get all of them, uh, but since, since then, they've come out with probably a, another nine that I don't have. Um, I think these first came out in, uh, let's say, 2020, maybe 2019. I'm pretty sure these were originally intended to be the replacement to the um, G -M GWM 5610, this guy right here. Um, pretty much has all the same features you'd expect from a G-Shock 200 meters of water resistance, um, the standard time, uh, world time, alarm, stopwatch, uh, countdown timer, but um, I think a slightly improved movement, certainly an improved backlight, plus they have Bluetooth, um, and they cost a little more. I think um, I think these were going for 100 to 120 something. The MSRP on these, somewhere around 150, but street price is a little bit less. Um, I wanted to talk about Bluetooth, and I mentioned this in a previous video. Um, I think a lot of people stay away from G-Shocks that have Bluetooth because they think there's some kind of smartwatch. Uh, now, I'm, I'm right with you there. I have some vintage Casios, and I love how I can still wear them today. Um, 15 or 20 years from now, are we still going to be uh, able to connect our Bluetooth watches to our phone? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but these are not smart watches, and you do not have to use that Bluetooth functionality at all. You can safely ignore it and pretend it's not there. All that's there for is to do time syncing for people who don't have access to radio atomic towers. These have multiband sync on them. Let's try to get in there. You see it says multiband six. So for people within access to a tower, you can uh, sync up with radio atomic time and these are always accurate. They kind of wake up at, in the middle of the night at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. You keep on trying until they get a good signal. Um, I. I think these are really fun designs, really well made. Um, yeah, if you do not have access to that signal, you can use the app on your phone. My estimates, maybe only half the world population has access to one of those atomic towers. So I don't think we should forget about people who might want uh, a G-Shock and they might want a to atomic time, but they just are not within range of a tower. I would love to tell you the models of these. I'm going to put that in the description. Um, I'm not going to remember all of them, but um, just thought I would give you a good look at them. This one has like a camo pattern around the, the bezel here with these like dithered uh, dots. Uh, this one has the positive screen, one of the very few that has a positive display. Uh, this is the Gorilla's Special Edition. These colors are, to me, uh, quintessentially 1990s. We see the hot pink, we see the um, cyan or baby blue, and we also see that here in the strap. You see there's pink, hot pink here, little accents here. Cool little watches. This one here has a mirror finish around the bezel. Always hard for me to get that on camera, unless you want to get blared from my uh, lamp there. This has like this uh, neon lettering in there. I'm kind of saving some of my favorites for, for last. This one, you see, it's low battery, it says it right there. Um, a purple display, it's a little dusty. A purple display, that's not something you see very often. Oh, look, it says low in two different spots. Low, low. I guess because it's when it's in the other modes. Yeah, you would just see that. So they're solar powered and they're saying low because they're low battery. These need uh, to spend some time in the sun. This one here, I do remember the model. It's an AR, the Adrenaline Red series. A red LCD and a purple LCD. Really, really cool. Fun little watches. So yeah, that app, for the people who don't have access to um, Atomic Time, you use the app and uh, it syncs with your phone a couple of times per day and then you get Atomic Time that way. You can also adjust uh, like your alarms and everything. Everything you could do on the watch for the most part, you could do in the app and vice versa. So it's something perfectly forgettable. There are some open source projects out there that connect to watches, smart watches and other smart devices that are um, abandoned. So I'm kind of optimistic. I'm optimistic in general 
uh, in life. But I feel like 10, 15 years from now, so long as Bluetooth is still being used, um, we'll be able to use these in some context. I don't, I, I doubt the official app will support it. But the watch itself, as you see, like scrolling through the app, uh, watch, there's really no indicator at all of Bluetooth in the menus or, you know, it doesn't depend on it. It says Bluetooth right there. Um, but if you don't like Bluetooth, you can just ignore it. And I think you get otherwise a really great watch. This right here, I think is the Heritage Edition. And it has, it's one of the few um, Casios that came on a resin bracelet. This is the V2 bracelet, people call it. Um, there was a, a version of this watch that had a different bracelet. This one though, way better. I, I think it's, no, those are resin. Um, this part is resin too, but it's like painted on the top and it's red on the back. Just, um, you know, when I'm, when I'm wearing watches, I want to wear a bracelet. This is a, uh, a full metal G-Shock and I, I just love wearing a bracelet. So yeah, probably one of my uh, favorite uh, resin G-Shocks right here. Uh, I think this one's a limited edition, uh, but this one's one of the original three uh, watches that came out in this series. Also has the uh, V2 bracelet, but this one's all black. Um, people call these the combi bracelet, as in combination. I don't know what it's a combination of. Um, it's like all resin. It's not like those links are metal in there, I don't think. Well, this is metal. Yeah, so there. Combination of some metal and resin. Let's get one of these on. Not that it's going to look any different. Okay, we've been zoomed in this whole time. I'm wearing this uh, full metal. This is the uh, matte black edition because I'm pretty sure um, these movements are nearly identical. They're very similar with one key difference there. This is the 3459. And this is um, 3461. Um, the key difference here being the full metal, pretty sure got the STN display, so it should be a little more visible, a little more reflective. I'm trying to show it in different lights here. Honestly, I'm not seeing it, but I'm pretty sure this is used as the STN display, and this is the regular TN display. Should have a higher viewing angle. Yeah, maybe in some lights you can see it. Um, I've never had a problem even on a negative display that's STN. I just think it looks crisp pretty much always. Um, but other than that difference in display, these are pretty much the same uh, same movements. Yeah, I was gonna try one of these on just so you can see what it looks like. Um, that's a G-Shock on a seven and a half inch wrist and they'll all kind of look like that. It's just a classic shape, classic style. And I guess that's why I have nine, 10, 11 of them right here. Just can't get enough of them. Really, really cool. Um, I was gonna dive in deep and show all like the m minor differences between these modules. I don't think that's worth it. Certainly not in a video. But um, one little example of a flourish, like look, I hold the adjust button. You see it says hold, as it blanks, set, and you kind of get right into that. And you see a scrolling word that says, you know, the time zone you're in. Uh, you could tell this is an older watch. You, you hold it, nothing happens and it gets into there and nothing is scrolling. Um, there, there's a bunch of other little bits of polish on this module that I, I really do think this makes it a better watch. And I think, unfortunately, people are avoiding it because it has Bluetooth. Let, let, uh, don't get me wrong, I understand the hesitation around Bluetooth, but I think it's such an easy thing to pretend it's not there if you don't want it. And um, for the people who do want it, I think it's incredibly valuable. Um, the, the one difference you can see here, one thing that I think I like about this, uh, you can see you know, these signals at the bottom here that say um, snooze alarm signal, but low, medium, high battery is right here. Um, this doesn't show you the battery at a glance. It will have the low battery indicator. So it has, uh, yeah, instead of low, medium, high, it just has low and not low basically and of course the app will show you the battery life but i think that's it i just wanted to um get these on camera and show that this is an option for those of you no way i'm going to show all of them but these are these are fun and i think people who are ignoring them 
It was uh, for the wrong reasons. Oh, wait. Can I get all of them? I can get it. I can do it. I can do it. And then I will screenshot that, and that will be the thumbnail. Oh, yeah. G-Shock Overload. Okay. Well, is that one upside down? Yes, it is. Hopefully, you learned something. Hopefully, um, you take a look at these. Take a look at the other colorways that I don't have here. Um, cool little watches, and I still think they are underrated. Um, I always end up with a, a loom shot, so let's uh, show you the light on that. Yeah, I guess let's do it this way. Here's the old. I say old, but they still make these, and it is a great watch. The electroluminescent panel. It's a classic. Everyone loves that blue glow. Um, but that does require an extra panel, a layer over the display, which can impact, at some angles, readability. And, uh, well, here's the new one. This is a negative display. Well, yeah, there you go. It doesn't even go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, that one says now because it's the uh, special edition version of this. Yeah, the new one is an LED backlight. It's, uh, I think, very crisp. I love how it just fades in and fades out. One of these, let's take a look at a couple of them. So I think we might have another special edition here. Yeah, if the battery, that's right, if the battery's low, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to glow. Yeah, that's cool. Let's zoom in on that. And that'll be the end of this um, unnecessarily long video. If you stayed until the end, um, I appreciate it. I don't understand why you would. All right. Thank you very much.